Hello everyone, it is The Social Club. We are wrapping up our World Cup coverage here by looking at team of the tournament. I've seen a few suggestions around the place, but we're not interested no. in what, what these so-called experts, mm. with their insider knowledge and, you know, and their stats <laughs> and that. Uh, <laughs> um, so we're going to throw ours into the hat, our hat into the ring for this one, I should say. Goalkeepers. Has everyone gone for Pickford? I did go for Pickford, yeah. I thought he was um, excellent. I thought he was... Largely flawless, I think. I'll be honest. What well, other suggestions then? Courtois. I mean, Pickford. I've loved Pickford. Why have you? Why have you my... not gone for Pickford? Because I just thought, oh, I'll never fan going for Pickford. But wow, you'll fe- you'll see as my team presents itself. I haven't had those kind of no, issues. No, of course. Um, to be fair, he was excellent. But Courtois had clean sheets and okay. finished third, and and was to be fair mostly. Not a fault for any of the goals that they conceded. And Dave, yeah, we'll bring yours up, uh, your team up here. Mm. Um, upside down team. Upside down. Yeah. <laughs> Different tactics. Yeah. You see. <laughs> You've gone for Griezmann in goal. Yeah, Griezmann's <laughs> in goal for me. I think he's yeah, he had a really good World Cup in between the sticks. Scored three goals and mm. you know some assists uh, as well. Perfect. Subasic. Subasic. Yeah, I think from the penalty shootouts, I think that was a big thing. Obviously, yeah. the beating Denmark, beating Russia. The keeper's massive there. Yeah. He's got a great penalty record, but I thought in the tournament he was very good as well. Mm-hmm. I think Pickford's kicking was a little bit dodgy. Courtois is Courtois. He made the saves, but he didn't come out on top. And I think Subasic won those two penalty shootouts for Croatia with his style, with his ability to come off the line. And that's why I've gone with him. I think he deserves a lot of credit. Pickford won a penalty shootout as well. Mm-hmm. One penalty shootout, two. Oh, just, okay, sweet. Hashtag just saying. Hashtag stats. Okay, <laughs> stats, stats, yeah. stats. In depth stats. Courtois <laughs> didn't throw a couple in his net in the biggest game of his life, though, unlike Subasic did yesterday. They were good goals, though, to be fair. I think you, you can't catch him for Mbappe's goal. It's, you can't see it. The Pogba goal, you can't really see it as a goalkeeper. Yeah, I think <laughs> Pickford saves Pogba's shot because I think. I can't think see a more it. agile, I disagree. I think, I, I, think, I think a more agile goalkeeper. Yeah. It says that it's it's basically down the middle of the goal, isn't it? Like so, uh, no discounted. Yeah. <laughs> um, Dave, give us your back. Give us your back four. Um, we're gonna go for Vaselko, right back, uh, Rafa Varane, Harry Maguire, and Lucas Hernandez. Okay, cool. I struggled with the left back in this. If I'm honest, I cheated it um, and put Pavard in, even though he played. He played. Why have, you, why have you swapped them? You can't, you can't just swap them to the other side. I mean, I have. I mean, you have done. I literally have. Literally. That's exactly what I've done. Dejan Lovren, recognised. Well, well, Rafa I, like your, I like your commitment to comedy for this. Yeah. Why not Lovren? Because there was better centre-backs than him. Um, I've gone with Goldin and I've gone with Maguire. Um, I, Varane was in there and I swapped him out for Maguire last minute and it was... There was nothing in it, really, to be honest. But I thought Maguire's threat from set pieces just edged him a little bit because I thought that was what he offered over anybody else. You're not happy with the Maguire shells at all. You think he's shit? Uh, he's bang average, yeah. I just went for the, the the kid that actually defended and won the World Cup. That's who's in mind. I like and the, the other one who's in the final who got your one off the ship. All right, so times. I might be going with him there. <laughs> mm. He impressed. Maybe it was because he has got such a... Bad haircut. He stood out in so many games, having really good games. Lovren, I wouldn't pick him even if he was man of match yesterday for the simple reason that he came out and said, quite, before, I mean, you had your manager actually saying, you know, boom. I actually agree with him, boom, but he shouldn't have said anything before the match. He probably should, really says it. He probably shouldn't say it himself. It would be better that somebody else would say that and not they. <laughs> <laughs> But actually, but actually, he's right. And he can see it's not great in finals, is he either? Ooh. Lost the last four. I know, but uh, what, I, seven I, goals conceded in the last two. Anyway, Vida Varan, Varan, outstanding, and Laxalt. I think that's how you say his name. The Uruguayan left back with the. I went with Fernandez because he's the yeah. actual left back. Uh, is he though? <laughs> is he it's more is of a left back than your right back? <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, Pavard is is very much not a left back. <laughs> Let's be honest with ourselves. He's, a full back. he's not. He's a, cent- he's a centre back, but he's, he's a right footed centre back. Basically the same thing. Why is nobody giving Vaselko a shout out? I'm going to be honest. Are you going to forget about the Croatian right back who was really important? Are you really going to forget about Kieran Trippier? Yeah. I am, yeah. Majestic. I'm going to say that Vaselko had a better tournament than Kieran Trippier. Did he? I think oh, Kieran Trippier was good. In open play, Vaselko was better. Midfield, look, I went for the, the, the axis of terror uh, of George Henderson and, and Luka Modric. You're shaking your head. If everyone, everyone's got Modric in agreements. Because he won the golden ball, right? And I, I, look, I'm going to level with you. It's usually well, a good sign, that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But I'm going to level with you. I'll, I'll be honest, a lot of this is coloured by the, what I saw the most of, and I saw the, I saw the most of England. Henderson went into that, into that World Cup, and I think there were a lot of people who were like, what, using You exactly. can't base it on the fact that everyone expected him to be shit, and he was only average, so then he was he class. He wasn't only average, he was really No, he probably good. wasn't even average, to he be honest. Was really good. I Barry. feel like I have to come in here and defend them. I don't know you've wow. got him in there either. I don't know, but listen, I don't... I sh- I've seen a lot of Jordan Henderson 
and from a blue perspective, he was bang average, I thought. For England in this tournament, he was one of England's top three players. He was excellent. But then England massively failed. England should have been in the we World Cup final. got to the semi-final. It's still a failure. Massively failed. They should have got to the final. If we're calling that a massive fail, what are we calling every other year, every well, other World Cup? Big, big failures. But he was excellent. But how can you even compare him to someone like Rakitic? Because he wasn't excellent. Rakitic, Rakitic had was one decent. hell of a tournament. Rakitic can pass long. So you you, just what were you saying about Jordan Henderson? You literally want six Croatians, Croatians in your team. Because Croatia that, that, got to the final. Who England should have beaten? I'm sorry. Justify it. With a different midfielder, England probably get through to the final. Because Other Jordan Henderson, Henderson, no, Jordan Henderson no, for wrong. me, was one of the main reasons no. England failed. No. Him just and banging it down into the channels What about Deli Ali? No he touched the ball once in the whole Jesse tournament. Lingard. Oh, he no, no, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I have to, I have wait, wait, to, wait, wait. Hold on a minute. I have to defend Lingard. Because Lingard, I thought Lingard, other than the semi, was Averaged over 90% across the whole tournament. pass completion, Gates. Gates, well done. Deli Ali, terrible. But the reason he's, England so lost... the pass completion. No, the reason Fantastic England lost is because they couldn't That's get hold of the ball. That's what everyone judges number 10s on, is how good the pass completion is. I think... Is. Oh, I got, personally do, Paul. Let's bring it <laughs> back. No whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> bring it back to the Henderson thing. He's in the midfield with three of them in there, right? Yeah. You've got Lingard running. All right, oh, I know he's no, got hang a hang difficult hang job. On. Right, he's, But he still wasn't good. He's on the, he was good. He wasn't good. Deli Ali wasn't good, and he was the issue. Deli Ali but was it the doesn't, issue. Just because someone else was shitter doesn't mean that he was good. He was good. It's, no, but it's tan- no, it was, you, there's a tangible that. difference. He had a hard job. I how England play. He played very well. Your argument is if you had some world class number six, it, it, an English world class number six, it would have been better. But the point no, my is argument more, is no, no, there was the, better midfielders than Henderson. When? Who? When? Where? Paul Pogba. I'll be a Even yourself, Rakitic. Paul Rakitic. Pogba. Kevin De Bruyne. There was a lot more midfielders that was better. That's a fair point. I can, I can understand the I was going to go Brozovic when I thought you know what if you want to hard. ignore the final where Paul Pogba starts getting onto the ball plays a couple of them balls into the channel for Mbappe then creates his own goal for Listen, himself I understand World Cup final you've got most tackles Manchester-based most passes agenda no, to make everyone is, think Paul Pogba's really good at this football this is what like. happened stop listening to the commentators actually watch the game Paul Pogba I watched was the game. quality I watched Listen, Graham Sunes is one of the best midfielders ever to play the game and if he thinks he's shit then he's probably right can he trust him as a central midfielder uh, he does doesn't know the role of playing in midfield. Fuck off. Listen, I eat a lot of food, don't mean I'm a good chef. <laughs> no, I'm not taking your point on Henderson at all because the, it was tangible the difference between him and Eric Dyer in that team. Just because, again, you're comparing, he's shit and he's shit, so he must be good. If you take a person out of that team and that team is significantly no, worse, forget England. then you see the importance of the Because England was shit. Watch Croatia, right? Go Rakitic watch a different side. It's all about the whole team. Rakitic is switching it from that left to the right. Consistently, they had Vassal on the overlap. That was all Rakitic. Henderson yeah. wasn't doing that. I'd have had Rakitic that. in Henderson there. Wasn't Pogba, the I'd have had Benteke. I'd have had a hell of a lot more. Henderson is Bentecourt probably not it. even... Hang on, Benteke was brilliant, but Henderson was excellent. You can't just rewrite it and go, oh, well... I can. You can't. He, he can was, say it. He was a lot of the reason that England was... That's there. nonsense. Paul that's Paul absolutely... That's he's the ve- hang on. He's about. the reason why England were in the semi then. If you're going to argue the, the case that he, he lost because... Hang on. Hang on he's a, so he's a, a central midfielder, England scored 12 goals, 10 of them are from set plays that had nothing to do with him. He is not the reason England... So why is he the reason why we lost the semi then? Because he was just launching it nonsense. forward and inviting absolutely. the pressure to come back. Wasn't. He couldn't keep hold of it. It was. It was actually Jordan Pickford's fault in the, in the, in the semi-final, if you're going to be honest with yourselves. Go and have a look at his pass map and look at his kicking. It was terrible. Oh, behave yourself. Oh, my no. God. Ah, man, watch it. Pickford and Henderson. Luka Modric is nailed on mate. in our teams then. Yeah, Luka. Paul Pogba. Oh, whatever. Yeah, get him in. He won, he won it and he dabbed with a Pogba? fucking trophy in his Why hands. Why should Pogba get him in? I'm just saying, like, if these are desperate for it, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. let so us know. That's embarrassing. Because he brought it That's home. embarrassing. Dave, you went 4-3-3. Three, three. Who was yep. your front three? Uh, Mbappe, Griezmann, Hazard. I think that's pretty simple. I don't think there's too much argument. I think everyone's got Mbappe. And that makes sense. Yeah. Coutinho's an interesting show. What's happened to you? Well, basically, because he, really basically he was really. I haven't picked it on people going, well, I like him, he and, and he's shit, and, and he's not. No, 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 well, it's at the end. I don't pick it on at the end. He was pick it on the best player. What me eyes, yeah. see? But and then, therefore, I mean, you have, have not picked Pickford on on agenda. Well, no, well, I think, uh, listen, <laughs> everyone will back me up. Golden gloves. Okay. Golden ball. Yeah. Golden boots. Oh. Courtois, co- sorry, Jesus. Modric, Kane. The three who, who, who have been, uh, you know, by everybody, so we can all be... But Coutinho, back to Brazil, was Brazil's best player. If Coutinho had got them to the semi, then yeah, you consider it, but he failed. He was the playmaker of the side with, with Neymar, who also failed. 
they didn't get to what they should have got to. They underachieved. I'm, 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 I'm literally not. I'm, I'm going to stay. Chelsea they fans, I'm going to go boil some Chelsea fan piss here. Belgium get to the final if Hazard's not a greedy little twat in the semi yeah. as well, by the way. Yeah. Because he was awful. And you can tell me about him holding it up. You can't say, you can't you can't say Brazil failed. Croatia got to the final winning penalty shootouts. They won he the penalty shootouts because of Subasic. He should be in goal. But then he threw this ball in the net. A better goal he picked within the final. Croatia are world champions today. Courtois in goal, Croatia are world champions today. Anyway, Mbappe Coutinho in goal, Croatia are world champions today. Mbappe was dead good, wasn't he? Mbappe. Mbappe was very good. Mbappe was excellent. Yeah, so I went Mbappe, Hazard, Sheryshev. I that think goal against two. Croatia oh, was a I think he scored two of the goals well, in the he tournament. It, when he first flicked, goal when he oh. comes off and he flicks it, yeah, when he flicks it over the guy with his first touch and then and slots it. I thought it was one of my favourite goals of the tournament. And the outside the boot. Perisic, Perisic is a good yeah, chance. I think excellent player. I wonder if there's, and this is the thing, we, it's easy to say because you got to the final and you were, you were great. I think Perisic is really good, but I think I don't know whether is there a touch of recency bias because he was. I thought he was excellent in the final. Or is it just because? Well, of course, yeah. You, got got England, you put though. more emphasis on the final in the third group. Yeah, wouldn't yeah, he was good in the good in the final, but again, through I thought through the rest of it, I thought Rabich was playing. Rabich well, played well as well. And again, you know, Rabich or Perisic, both of them were, were pretty awesome. Did you have that little moment when you were watching them thinking? It wasn't could've a little him. moment. It was all the way through going, sake. Yeah, you could have had him. Over a couple play. of million quid. Steaming, you just swear for that. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I wasn't was impressed with him. I know he gets a lot of the ball in the final third, but mm. I thought his decision making at times was dreadful. He was shooting when he should have laid other people in. You know, he may have fluffed off a few chances when they were 2-0 no, up, but still at the same time, he's had a wonderful tournament. I think and he took he's, away he's from the team. Packs. I thought he was far too selfish and he took away from what Belgium could do with his performances. He didn't add to them. Yeah. He, oh, he definitely added to the performances. No, he added to himself. 100%. Okay, so we've got, in terms of leading the lines, then, as, as Barry mentioned wholeheartedly, you've got the Golden Boot winner in Harry yeah. Kane. Yeah. You two both went for Griezmann. I went, I went outside the box. I went Cavani. Um, for, I just thought he was he was class and in, in his absence the second you know he's not taking to the field mm. you're like well Uruguay Uruguay are out here and I, I could have gone Lukaku as well if I'm, if I'm honest I didn't want to go Kane because I just I just didn't I enjoyed some of his performances, don't get me wrong. I enjoyed him doing that job where uh, Colombia, where he, he did a bit of a drug bear, mm. where he played a bit deeper and he just he, he beat him out and he dropped the floor and win a free kick. And I think there's time, there's time and place, and I think that's a really underrated quality. Well, that's what you're you. well exactly, I think, and that's what you need in major tournaments for a yeah. World Cup. I want yeah. I want to see someone excite me, and I, I got I I, I loved watching Cavani. Him Cavani. Cavani would have would have definitely done him close if he'd have been fifth in the semi, and that semi final might might. Have been different well, within course the squad yeah. because Uruguay were absolutely brilliant. To be fair, to yeah, they were, they were good in, against Portugal. Weren't and they? if you had if you had Cavani and Suarez mm. against, you may have. He was Fans a shade of himself. Apart, really. Suarez is a big shade of himself. Yeah, he didn't look. He, he, he was really on cold, bit, cold, didn't cold, he? Yeah, he was some games he was really game. good, yeah. awful in the group stages. Mm. I just I, I thought Kane, apart from the semi final, and I didn't think he played very well. Was was very consistent for England in doing in terms of keeping us the ball, getting us up the pitch, allowing Sterling, allowing Lingard to run in behind. It was key to but he how didn't England do that enough, played. I don't think. Not in the semi, like he didn't t- Tottenham, see Tottenham go through him, hit him mm. every single you time. You saw the worked. difference between how Manzukic played that game. Yeah. He was a he was a big target man. He's got no pace, exactly. and yet he was playing on the shoulder. And he was yeah. he was getting in, getting that little pass. Kane had two, oh, no, exactly. two chances that he had to put England in the final. No, that's what I'm saying. He arguably could have passed it and did yeah. it, and one he shot he should and scored, probably yeah. should have scored. And I think that would be the difference why yeah, I couldn't yeah. have picked oh, well, that's him. That's fair enough. But well, I just I think, think he Griezmann did really was doing the right things. Though he had his little stutter free kicks. Three goals with two penalties. Though yeah, but he's also got the own goals that he forced as well. So I think he he was he was excellent. I thought with the ball mm. he was excellent. He created space with the ball. Top I assists. Thought, I thought it was fantastic. Can I ask the question then? Does Deschamps deserve to be manager of our World Cup Absolutely eleven? Absolutely not. not right, are course. you are you going to persist with this I Deschamps as a terrible manager? Hundred percent. He's just won the World Cup. Okay. Yeah. Just last night it was. Okay. I've got to be honest. I've got, I'm going with Dave. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. In the group stages, France clueless against so, Uruguay. Okay. France were clueless. Okay. The reason why France won this tournament is because the the, the, the teams they play, over. they play teams yeah. that want the ball. They play Belgium in the semi final. Belgium want the ball. Croatia they, want the ball in the final. They, they the counter attacking. You can play who you play, and you win the games that you win. And he picked the. He made a change in the final that affected the game. He brought in Enzonzi for yeah. Kante, who was garbage. Yeah, he changed the game. One, one opened change it up in for an France. entire tournament. Did he win the World Cup? <laughs> an entire tournament. To be, to be fair, don't they? Dalic. Right. Okay. So the man. The main man, right? 
Is this the Croatian man? Is this the Croatian man? Of course, the guy. Even if the mask. From the man sitting in a Croatian shirt. Yeah, he's really yeah. good at penalty shootouts. You know, at the. And there it is. Yeah, yeah, the Scottish guy that says. I don't. That was I don't know if I'd say Deschamps to be honest, but I think I'd put him above the Croatian. All right, what we're all thinking, Gareth Southgate, then, yeah. Yeah, Gareth. Yeah, Gareth Southgate, great manager, right? Bobby Brown's huge. Yeah, Bobby Brown. Finished there, the World Cup. Who would have thought it? Martinez didn't do Martinez had the, the tactical change of the World Cup with the against Brazil when he put De Bruyne as a false nine. That was mm. like the tactics of the tournament. Yeah. So I'd give it to Roberto Martinez yeah, after he, Dalic, obviously. But to be fair, he was playing him as like <laughs> he was the one not playing him there. Yeah, but that, <laughs> yeah, before that as but well. But at the same like. time he massively changed it and won the game because well, he did so that. did the, I mean I listen, the Sean Paul's France back for me. However, it sounds yeah. bizarre. But in that final, it can't say he was all over the place. He, yeah. he wasn't getting hold of it. The minute and Zonzi come on, France just went. Thank Again, you. We'll have that the game changes on. on like 65 minutes or whatever. Nobody's done it, but it's key. It's and key because they won the game. Just to reiterate one more time. Identified. He's just won the World Cup. <laughs> Excellent. Listen, let us know your team of the tournament in the comments below and of the ones presented to you there, um, including Dave's upside down. Inverted Evans. team. Inverted <laughs> team. Uh, who do you think has got the best team out of that as well? Let us know in the comments below. Drop a like on the video if you would be so kind. Subscribe to everyone present, including the Ball Street channel, and check out the rest of the social club this week. Ta-da.